All right, time for a buff Pablo part of them. Hell yeah, let's mm-hmm. do it. First one, uh, being a member of a golf club slash course. All right, so we were kind of already talking about this. Yeah, we were. So it leads into it. Man, I'm kind of I'm on the I'm on the verge of deciding. Honestly, either this year or next year, me and my brother were talking about it. I think I want to join a country club because of everything that comes with it. You got a restaurant, you hang out with the members, you get to compete in tournaments, and it's just like a friendly environment. It's kind of, I mean, I don't want to relate it in this way. It's kind of like a fraternity in a sense, but it's more so for the love of golf. And I'm kind of into it. I'm below par on that. I think I would love to be a member of a golf club or a golf course because you have a reason to be there and you get to be friendly with the members and everything. But the thing that just pisses me off, especially at the life that I have right now, I want to play different golf courses. That's that's the same as me. Like I think that's why I'm above par on it. Okay. Because I don't like the idea of being at one place all the time. Mm-hmm. I like to play all different kinds of golf courses. Plus the money you spend, like they're not cheap. No, you're right. You're right. Like you, you can get like plans and stuff, or, or like different sorts of memberships. But like if you want to be a, a member of a golf club or a country club, you want the top end. So you're gonna pay, you're gonna spend thousands of dollars to do it. And plus, I think like if you want to do it as well, you need a restaurant, bar, driving range. Pro area, shop. pro shop, you need all that stuff. So like some some places that offer one, like even Montour, for example, it's a great golf course. It doesn't really have a driving range. No, you're right. You're right. Like I would not I would not like that. It, it depends. That's the thing though. You don't want to be a member to a golf course that doesn't have the amenities you want. Yeah. You know, there's some golf courses out there that yeah, you you're gonna pay a membership fee, it may be like a little over a thousand bucks, but you get nothing but like a hot dog stand and just eighteen holes, you know? Mm. It's up to you if you want to be able to do that. And it's also for the people that have ease of convenience. Get out of work at your 9 to 5 and you want to just play a quick 9 or 18, you know? There's lots of positives to it. And I think <clears> when <throat> I'm older, maybe. For sure. And Plus, maybe when we're, older, when we're older, yeah. we might have a break 90 golf course. Could have a restaurant. <laughs> Expectations are high. Yes, it is. And it's all fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Drinking on the course. This oh. is a good one for you. Oh, baby. Drinking on the course. It's... All right, love hate relationship with drinking on the course. Not the biggest drinker. I'm a big smoker. It is mm-hmm. legal in Massachusetts, so we can say this. But um, I think I'm under par on it because golf. Not only is it a fun sport, I don't I don't take it as seriously as I should. So I like going out with my pals and just having a few beers, listening to music, which I know you hate that part of it. But that's like one of the best parts about it: being in the sun, being in nature, drinking a beer, having swinging a club around with your boys. You know. Um, but it's also a tactic of mine, you know. If I ever had to get someone to start shooting shitty, just ripping some shots, some McGullicuddy <laughs> shots, or some some other kind of shots, and just keep them in the bag at all times. Pull out the joint, let them get a little delirious, you know, feel a little different. Our stage dog just kicked in the door again, like Biggie Smalls. But other than that, I'm I'm honestly super for it. Yeah, I'm saying. I, I mean, I'm I don't get drunk on the golf course. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, like to have, I like to have a few beers though and I like places that let you bring your own beer yeah for sure Um, unless like they've got like unless they've got decent like a decent system where the car girl actually drives around a lot mm-hmm. a lot of golf courses have them and you never fucking see them like yeah. where's, the go- where's the car girl um, hot take golf golf cart girls need to be hotter <laughs> I've been getting some I mean, Janko ones lately. Like, I don't care about that stuff. Obviously, I'm already banned. So. Oh, that's right. Sorry. I just we'll care do, about. We'll delete this I, out. I don't have to delete this out. I, <laughs> I care more about what's in the golf cart. Yeah, but what are you gonna get? Bud Light. Nah. Budweiser and. It's gonna be Michael something Bullshit. good, man. They don't have good. That's why. Allen Dale Fireball shots. So that was pretty funny. That is cool. I like that. Yeah. I mean, but the thing is, like, I bring a cooler every single time I go. You know, I stuff it in the bag. Yeah. So, Same. Yeah, I mean, you don't need to pay for any. I've, any some, I've been to some different golf courses though, where like. They've got loads in the golf cart, like the one my wife's sister works or used to work at. I had all like types of shandies and stuff like that, and you were always flying around. So, it's like, like a what? Shandies. It's a shandy. Really? What? You know what a shandy is? No, it's. I mean, even in New England, they got all like local. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Yeah, yeah. I'm a bartender. Jesus, oh my god. of course oh my I know shandy is. <laughs> of course I know. But I was just like shandy. Half, is just like when people call soda pop. Like usually half beer, on? half lemonade or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Mm. Yeah, no, those are good. But I think mixies are good on the course too. I mean, beers just get warm quickly. Yeah, I mean, I I, I think like like I said, I don't, I don't get drunk unless probably at like a resort or something. Like mm-hmm. you go to Metal Beach again. Yeah, oh my god, yeah. Because you, you know, I don't drive home, so that's true. Um, Uber everywhere. Yeah, don't drink and drive. Don't do that, guys. Um, unless it's the golf cart. So I am below par on that. Okay, hell yeah. Like What's it. your favorite drink on the course? 
Shandy. <laughs> Shandy, there you go. Nah, I, I don't know. Corona always goes well. Okay, hell yeah. They're better I like, I like uh, three things. I'm a seltzer guy. I think seltzers are awesome on the course. Refreshing, easy to drink, get you banged up. Uh, tequila shots. And um, just shout out my boy, uh, Brett, a Miller Lite. Miller Lights aren't bad, actually, because they don't get you too... I mean, it's shout water. out our boy, Brett, who thinks, he's a, thinks he's a big drinker when he just drinks Miller Lights, and it's just light as fuck. It's water. It's water. It's so he water. can go, I, I drink 19 of them. Well, it's really six. It's like drinking a fucking O'Doul's, bro. What's that? It's a non-alcoholic beer. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right, last one. Uh, triple track. So this is a Callaway branded thing, or Odyssey. Mm-hmm. Um, triple track which is on the balls and on most of the new line of putters so the three lines what do you think of that uh, it's for the OCD freaks out there I think um, line up your putt that's it you don't need any other assistance I always draw a line if not I use the words on the on the ball and just direct it I suck at putting so nothing will help me unless there was literally like some VR goggles I could put on that tells me like the break and everything but other is than golf that, happy now? that does that? yeah I don't believe that. Honestly, there's, a, there's a Seb on Golf on YouTube. Um, you, it's a ca- you use the camera and you like you know where the ball is and then you follow the ho- the ground to the hole and it gives you like a putting line and nine times out of ten it works. No way. It depends on like your putting speed still. Okay. That's where you're fucked. Yeah, I'm screwed. But I'm it, everything it, short. It can <laughs> it can like judge the gradients of like how it's measuring. I and think honestly, we should try that out. The video. We should try that out. Um, are you above par, below par, first of all, obviously? Uh, triple track, I'm um, above par. I think that's the wackest thing. Mm. Um, the putter is cool looking. The balls are cool looking. I'm not a guy that's really particular about the balls I use. I like at least a decent ball. So, I don't know. I- I'm just not with it. I think it's kind of stupid. One line's good enough for me. I'm above par on triple track. I just think it's a gimmick. Yeah. I do draw lines on my golf ball. 100%. I think it's necessary. You just said, I thought you just said you don't. I said I either words. draw lines or I use oh, the words. Use the words yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I'm the same. Some some golf balls have decent lines on them we don't need to, but I do draw, I tend to draw a line on it because I think it does aid putting.